Hey guys, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. Oh, I don't know, maybe I'm going through puberty. Is that what's happening here? <laughs> oh, hi. I had a wonderful time in Indianapolis um, over the course of the last two days. So, um, Chris, the corduroy fox, and I met there. And um, you guys are silly. Um, and we spent two days shopping. It was wonderful. Uh, Linda is here. Chris is here. Faye. Hey, Faye. Uh, Georgia Parker. Hi there. Thanks for being here. Amelia. Hey, Amelia. Um, how's that walking going, girl? I know that you had. We're a little bummed the other day that you only got like two miles in, but you were doing it in the coldest weather. So good for you to keep pushing through um, as hard as that is. So, uh, you know, just keep going. Know that we're supporting you. Uh, Georgia's new. Yes, you're a, that's a new name. I haven't seen it before. And hello from North Georgia. Nice. Uh, Kim Smith is here. Bill Bam is in the house. Um, so Danny D is also here. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, you know, it's funny that when I was growing up and I used to watch the uh, Andy Griffith show, which is a that's a pretty darn good show. I enjoy that show still. Um, there was kind of a say hey to Goober kind of thing. And I'm like, who says hey? You know, you say hello to someone. You say hi to someone. And I find the older I get, the more hey I say. Um, but just funny, just a funny observation. Uh, Kathy Eller is here with us. Um, so we've got a nice full house already. Um, and, uh, um, I hope things are going well. Sales are going well. I know that they have been off, um, for most of, honestly, for a little bit, most of the year so far. Um, and I can't explain it, but I hope that things are well for you. Um, so let me just give you the rundown. Uh, Chris says, that's okay. My 89 year old aunt says, yo, um, which is not what you ex exactly would expect an 89 year old to say. Um, so Vicki is, is here with us. Hey Vicki. And um, I wanted to just give you the breakdown. So Tuesday morning, Chris and I met at the hotel in Indianapolis um, at 930. And let me just tell you that it was a torrential down, <laughs> downpour for the entire two hour drive there. And it pretty much just poured all day um, on Tuesday. It was just torrential downpours all day. And um, so it was just, just crazy but it was like 60 degrees. So during the breaks in the rain, um, it was actually not too bad. Um, however, we woke up to light snow flurries on Wednesday, but we did not let that deter us. So we stopped at nine thrift stores, mostly Goodwills. I think we hit maybe two or three, two for sure, but maybe three that were not Goodwills. Um, we, uh, and we hit two, um, bins, um, and one of the, the thrift stores that we hit that was not, yeah, three. Okay. One of the thrift stores that we hit that was not a Goodwill was called Mission 27 Resale. And it was a really nice, um, St. Vincent de Paul kind of boutique. So um, not like your normal St. Vincent de Paul where everything is just kind of sho shoved on a shelf, thrown on a shelf and just, it's kind of cluttered and not very organized. This was curated. These items were um, lovingly placed on shelves and, and it was decorated and arranged and, it was really, really nice. Um, I did buy a couple of items in there. Uh, I'll just grab the, the two items that I, I bought in there. Um, 
So the first one is this, it was marked 11.99 and it's one of those, I think this holds 36 spoons. It's a door spoon, a, a glass door spoon rack. And um, so again, this was 11.99. Um, and I think I can get about $35 for that. But um, the person that was waiting on us was kind enough to give us the senior discount. Um, so I only paid like $8 and something for that. And then I got this DVD VCR combo, also $11.99. Again, a 30% discount um, for that. So, and I think I can get about $50 out of this. Now, one of the observations that I made yesterday afternoon after we were kind of wrapping up, uh, we, we both got home about six o'clock last night, was that I, um, you're right, she did it. She did give us the discount without asking for ID. There were some assumptions being made, okay? <laughs> but I don't mind. Um, but one of the, the observations that I made was I did not buy as much stuff during this two day trip as I normally would on a one day trip. Um, I spent $147 and um, I'm not sure exactly how many items that I got. I guess I'll have to count them up at some point, but I feel like Chris and I both made a lot of, we were both on our game as far as just not buying every every item that we saw. It would, if it was not a fairly profitable item, we just didn't buy it. So uh, that being said, I did pick up this blank media. I got this at the bins. Um, these are floppies. I didn't look these up. Um, but like this one is not a complete box. But there are three sealed boxes of floppy disks in here. Um, so I'm hoping I can get about $20 for this media, but again, I'm not sure because I did not look these up. So um, this could be a fail. There are also um, several items that I bought for myself because, damn it, I deserve it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but, um, but for the most part, I think I did pretty well. Um, this is a, um, a gaming uh, keyboard and... I paid $3.99 for this. I think I can get $25 plus shipping on eBay, probably a little more over on Amazon. So we'll just kind of see where I end up listing that. Um, this one is for myself. This is one of those Camelback water um, jugs, water drinking water glasses things that I thought I would like to have. Um, I bought a couple of rolls of... Wallpaper border, these were 99 cents each. It's kind of pretty. Um, and I'm really looking at trying to buy these more when there's more than one roll. Um, I, I did not follow that rule to the letter. I did buy a couple of single rolls that I thought were interesting, but I think this will do. That will do okay. I'll try to get about 20 bucks out of those. Um, this was at the bins. And this is a strap for a 31 bag and it's marked and everything. I don't know if this is worth anything. Um, again, I, I try not to buy too much stuff like this, but uh, a, this is probably weighs three or four ounces. So I didn't really pay much for that. Um, here is some birdhouse wallpaper borders. Really kind of cute. Um, Faye, you bought three to resell today. So, um, so I stretched my handling time out to three days while I was gone because I didn't want to run into shipping issues. And um, I did end up having four very moderate sales, very low sales while I was gone. But I was kind of surprised that with my, um, with my handling time stretched out that I had no sales. But I did, and I've had two sales two sales today so far. Um, I picked these up at the bins as well. These are blank DVDs and I thought I would include these with the um, DVD v, uh, VCR combo. 
since I think that one might be a recording one. I'm not sure. But if it is, I will re I'll, uh, include those to kind of, um, to kind of uh, make my listing a little more unique. Um, this is a bread pan, and I do have the paddle somewhere that I pulled out of a um, bread maker at the bins. And usually I do okay on these. With the bread pan and the paddle, I should do about $25. Um, and the way I um, like manage to remember what model I pulled this out of is when I do pull them, I take a picture of the bottom of the bread maker um, where the model number is. So um, that way I can keep up with that. Picked up Pride and Prejudice for myself because why not? It's 50 cents, I think, is what I paid for that. Let's see what else is in here. Um, found this Sudoku, and I paid $2.99 for this, and I think this goes for about $60 on Amazon, which is just crazy. Um, I got this little cassette Walkman. I didn't look this one up. This was from the bins. Um, but some of these can do much better than you would imagine. Um, so I'll check that one out. Um, I've sold Walkman cassette players recently used, but working for about 25, 20, $25. Um, so I'll hopefully get about 20 on that one. Um, I bought this uh, Joe Camel corduroy uh, snapback hat. Um, I don't normally buy a lot of baseball caps. Um, this one is in pretty good condition. It will need to be cleaned up a little bit um, just from being at the bins. Uh, but this is the smooth character embroidered patch. And I think these are going for about $18. Let's see. Uh, some reading materials for the, for the grandbabies. Let's see. Pick this up at... Uh, I believe I got this at the bins. This is a juicy couture little like bracelet or watch box. I'm going to list this over on Mercari, Mercari and see if I can get about 15 bucks for that. The longer you linger, the more you spend. That should be tattooed on my body somewhere. Um, this is um, the other thing that I bought at that really posh thrift store. Um, this is an Oster Kitchen Center pasta maker uh, attachment. I paid $2.49, but then 30% off of that. So like $2.70 uh, or $1.70 for this. And I think I can get about $20 for that. I'm hopeful. Um, I got a Brita filter for my daughter. She uses that Brita pitcher. Uh, this feels like it's pretty complete. This is that pretty, pretty princess game that comes with all the little jewelry. And um, these can do okay. The um, the Disney princess one, of course, does better. But um, I paid 69 cents for this. And I think I'm just going to sell the jewelry out of that. And hopefully get about 15 bucks for that stuff. I don't know. I haven't sold it in a long time. Uh, this is called a Magna Hoop, and it says Hoop the Unhoopable. This was $2.99, and these are selling all over the place, like $25 to $75. So I'm going to price mine somewhere in the middle. It does look like it's complete, and um, what it is is it is an attachment that works with embroidery machines, and this one works with several. Like this, this is a whole list of the different machines it works with, so I'm hoping... That, that will be like my um, that will be like my my home run because I do feel like we didn't like find the holy grail the 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 ark of the government the the government the covenant or any of the other raiders of the lost ark items that uh, Indiana Jones would have been hunting for. Um, hey, Nana Beth. So, um, but, but a lot of just solid stuff and, and, you know, that's actually probably better at the end of the day. Um, I got this pretty wallpaper border. Um, I always do well with beach themed. Um, and I paid 
I think I paid 99 cents for this one as well. So Chris and I stopped in this little, it was a little um, like church thrift, but it almost felt like it was part of a homeless mission or something. The little store was tiny. Okay. It was not very big at all. And it was just full of men. I don't have a problem with men, but it was just very weird. Um, like all of these men that look like they'd had, they would have a hard luck story. If you ask them, we're in there cleaning and polishing things and, um, and shopping and talking and just, I don't know. We were, we were probably not supposed to be in there. Um, anyway, uh, Chris bought an Orvis jacket. She found a ladies Orvis jacket in there for $4. And, um, I picked up, this leak pad. Um, it does not have a leak pad with it, but it has all of these books and cartridges and I got these for five bucks. So, and I, I don't know where that came from, but, um, and I'm hoping to lock those together. I do have another lot I need to work on getting rid of, but, uh, but I thought for that price, I would do okay on those. Oh, Sandy. Sandy was happy to see me last night when I got home. <laughs> um, you won't be able to see this, but this is Labrador. There's a dog behind that sticker. Labrador wallpaper border. I only found one roll, but I thought that was good enough subject matter. So I bought that one roll, um, I think for like 49 cents or something. This I paid $3.99 for. And this is the Jetstream Oven by American Harvest. Uh, it does not have the oven unit though. So it's essentially everything except the oven, uh, the actual heating unit. Uh, but I plan to part this this one out. Um, this ring goes for about $25. So, and then I think I'm going to sell the rest of this together. So I should do okay on this. I'm guessing about $50 for all of it. Give that yellow ball to Sandy. Well, you know, that's a good idea. Here it's Sandy. Here you go. Come on. Go get it. Hours and hours of enjoyment right there. She won't bother me again for a while. This looks like it sells for about $15. Um, maybe a little bit more. This is called Mimic. And it is a little compact and some brushes. And this is to touch up your hair. So if you have let your hair go a little too long and, and you've got roots, you can touch it up with this. I'm going to try this on Mercari and see um and see what it does over there so um that's my plan there and then that will ship first class it's so so light um bought myself a tube pan for um actually i got this at the bins i think but um got myself a tube pan because i'm going to make some chiffon cake soon This is, um, I got these at the bins. I thought I would use these because I want to do my husband's man cave. And I thought these would be cute to hang on the wall and display something. I did buy a couple of clothing items too. Um, not too much. I found this and I paid a um, dollar for this. It was on sale. Uh, it was marked $1.99, but it was 50% off. Um, this is from 1985. This is a Thermos brand uh, plastic lunchbox, and it's got Teddy Ruxpin on the front, and it's marked, it is marked 1985. Of course, it doesn't have the, um, the actual thermos in it, but I'm going to put this over on Etsy and see what I can get for that. It just sold a My Little Pony one that shipped today. 
um, didn't sell for much. It only sold for like 12 bucks. But I don't think it was as old as that one is. Uh, these are just a couple of like thermal shirts that I bought for myself. Uh, this is a wool blend cardigan sweater. Um, it's got the leather covered buttons. And it is Orvis and uh, probably a, it's an extra large. I believe it's a women's sweater. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But um, I'm not on the fence whether this is resale or for me. I don't know yet. Um, I do like it, though. I do. This is a little game I picked up for, like a matching game. I picked up for Phoenix. And, you know, cat love. Gotta have a cat food dispenser. It could be gender neutral. You're right, it could be. Because it kind of doesn't, doesn't have any real feel that it's absolutely feminine. Oh, here's a book that I picked up. I'm going to put this in my husband's band cave. Um, yeah, it's about Mecca. So, put that in there for him. And this is a cute little tote bag, little canvas tote bag that says Disney Cruise Line. And it looks like maybe it's got some damage it looks like it's faded. I can't tell if that's intended or not intended. If it is intended, um, I'll sell it. If it's not intended, um, wear it until the weather turns warm, then sell it. There you go. That's an idea. Um, but I may just keep this. Who can't use a, a tote bag? I'm always sending bags of stuff to somebody. So, um, Oh, a little drying mat uh, for myself. This is a, a one of those sleeves that dogs bite on, um, and it needs it needs to be cleaned up. It's another dirty, but uh, the um, it's made by a company called Ray Allen. It looks like it's in really good shape, like it hasn't been used really. Um, but I'll get this cleaned up. It does smell a little musty, but um, I should be able to get 35, 40 bucks out of that. And that was from the bins. Yeah, oh, really. Use the uh, use the dog thing to let Sandy tackle. I'm not trying to encourage that kind of behavior. You need that when you're playing with your cats. Um, these are not functional glasses. These are like decor and they came from the bin. But I thought as I'm putting together those junk drawer lots, um, how, how fun it would be to put these in it, you know, something that's interesting. Um, and I've started to collect little tchotchkes that I'm finding cheap. Uh, to dress up junk drawer lots because I think that there's a potential there um, to get rid of some stuff um, that kind of collects. And if you, you need that as an oven mitt, Kim and Jerry Stewart. Hey, thanks guys for coming. Um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I like those little interesting bits like that. Um, I paid 10 bucks for this, probably too much, maybe. Um, this is made by Lacrosse Technology. It's called a Weather Direct Internet Powered uh, Weather Station. Internet Powered. Who says that? It's just Wi Fi. <laughs> um, so it looks like it's in really good condition. I don't think it's been, doesn't look like it's been used. Um, but I'm hoping 
that I can get 40, 40 to 50 out of it. That's what I'm hopeful. All right. I just have like one bin more. I mean, I'm serious. It's uh, it was not the it was not the gigantic haul that you would think, but there's still lots of money to be made here. Um, Notre Dame hat for my son-in-law, who is a Notre Dame fan. Uh, pick these up at the bins. Um, just a little set of hot rollers, nothing special. There's the clips. Um, I'm not sure if I will part this out, sell just clips, or if I'll sell the whole thing. I have not decided yet. I haven't looked that up, so I don't know. Um, a troll doll, because why, why not? I think this was at the bins. Sandy, what you doing? Oh, um, I was short one of these club uh, plugs, and I found one for ninety nine cents at Goodwill. Found some keys at the bin. I go in the junk drawer a lot. Um, found this cute little wallet, and uh, thought Holly would like it. Let's see. Kim said she would love would have loved to see you in Indy, but she had to be ready for her foot surgery this morning. She wouldn't. Won't be on her feet for a, a little while. Well, um, you know, if Kim's going to be like stuck on the couch at home, she's going to have to figure out how to get her laptop out and set it up so that she can hang out when some of us are just hanging out and listing and we're not online. We're just, you know, hanging out. So I don't know what to do with Kim because I'm all for just hanging out when when there's nothing going on and just working through stuff. So, um, so I bought this little caddy. I got this at the bins for my upstairs bathroom. And I found this little tin. How cute is that? Um, at the bins as well. And this is just those glow in the dark stars, but I thought that would be fun for the boys, the grandkids to go in their bedroom. I uh, picked up this cranium game and this thing probably weighs five pounds probably. So I probably played way too much for this, but it is complete. And um, hopefully I will be able to recoup my money on that. And, uh, we would have loved to have seen Kim too. I didn't get a chance to meet it, meet up with anybody um, in Cincinnati, but the weather just wasn't good for it anyway. So maybe a subsequent subsequent trip will be good because I know that True said she she's doing her bus route right now. Um, she would have liked to have met up too, but it just didn't work. The weather just didn't allow for it. Um, so I picked this up. Um, no, I'm not going to become a clothing seller, but I do want to pick up things where I think they can be profitable and make money. And this is a Tommy, Tommy Bahama, cute little pattern on the front. Uh, if I can get it to, there we go. And, um, this is hundred percent silk. It is an extra large and, um, um, it was a, was half off. So $2 and 25 cents for this. And I'm hoping I can get somewhere in the $20 range. I know these used to do much, much better. They just don't do as well. Um, as, as they used to. And then I think I may have a problem because I buy things like this. It's a bag of bags. It's a bag of Ziploc bags. And uh, what it's telling me is it's it's for, it's for storage for crap that I haven't even bought yet. <laughs> but I got this at the bins. And these are nice big ziploc -y bags that I'm sure I can use for storage. So 
Um, uh, I, yeah, but I'm thinking, are you becoming a hoarder? What's happening here? Um, I picked this up. It was $10, uh, but I got my the 30% discount. So it didn't cost as much. It's really cool. It looks like a shotgun shell. I actually got this for decor for my husband's man cave, which I'm kind of on fire about right now. But um, it's a thermos. How cute is that? But yeah, I thought he would think that it's just really cool. So I thought it was cute. Um, I don't want to look it up though. Cause if I look it up and it sells for something, I'll sell it and not give it to him. So is that, a, is that a real struggle for everybody else? Looks like a bomb. Yeah. It's a big shotgun shell, but is that a struggle for you guys? If you buy something like for yourself and, um, and then you look it up and it's worth a lot of money. You want to just sell it. Cause that, I mean, I really, that's a real struggle. Um, so I live in Ohio and I was in Indiana when I bought this, but it's university of Kentucky, which was my favorite team. And, uh, it's just this really cool insulated cup with the straw. I like these. Um, so I picked this up. I got this at the bins. No, I paid 99 cents for this at the thrift store. So. Let's see. Um, I didn't look this up. This is a Jordan t-shirt. Um, it's got the embroidered Michael Jordan here and then kind of a graphic letter block uh, spell out Jordan there. Um, it's a nice heavy t-shirt, but I bought this for my son-in-law who I think will like it. And this was like $2 or something, I think. And then got myself a little Avengers t-shirt because you know, you never have enough t-shirts. At least I can't. And if you're watching the Facebook page, if you've been following over there, I did post this and uh, Beth um, was able to give me a lot of good information on this particular um, piece of glass. So it is depression glass, and um, I'm not sure that this is Vaseline glass or anything like that, but it is a princess cookie jar, and um, the, the print is really nice on it. And I paid $5 for this. I don't normally buy a lot of glass like this, uh, vintage glass. It's not something I'm really familiar with or terribly interested in most of the time. But it looks like this jar will get me about 25 bucks. And so I'll be excited to sell to sell that. And it is pretty and I do really like it. I do really like it. But I think I'll I think I'll part with it. But it is kind of pretty. Uh we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Pick this up for Holly for 99 cents. It is just a little pumpkin stand. Um with these little inserts to make it look like a black cat. Just thought it was really cute and she'll probably enjoy that. And uh, let's see, got the husband a real tree t shirt, camo. Who knew they had rednecks in the Middle East? I didn't know. And I got a couple of frames like document frames that I needed for 99 cents and um, a gun safe like a gun lock because uh, I'm not sure if we need these or not and you know we do have there are a lot of guns in this establishment um, so I'm sure it can't hurt to have an extra one of those last item and I paid $3.99 for this um, and these glasses, is Linda still with us? These glasses are from Randolph Engineering, I think. Uh, she didn't say she wasn't still with us, but she may be busy half listening. 
Um, but these are from Randolph Engineering and uh, they are used. But if if you're looking at glasses, this is definitely a brand to, to watch for. Um, the, this aviator style goes in into the hundreds new. Um, and these, I think I will get about $50 for, um, I did not, I've never heard of this brand. I don't know anything about it, but just based on the research that I did, um, uh, looks like about 50 bucks. So again, um, if I had any home runs, there were, there were, they were the couple of $50 items that I found. But uh, yeah, it was a, a good trip. Um, I'm still surprised at the. <laughs> okay, you can't just come in and say first and then nothing else that's frowned upon in this establishment. Oh, we should talk in Olinda. Those are cool. I feel the need, the need for speed, right? Exactly. Very, very 80s um, uh, top gun kind of thing. But um, that's definitely a brand to look for. I will say I'm a little like underwhelmed by the amount of stuff that I found. However, um, I will say that most of it is solid. So, um, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. Like I'm used to finding tons and tons of stuff, but, but a portion of that being crap, you know, like a good 15% of it being crap. So I didn't have that experience this time. I'm definitely ready for the next road trip for real. I mean, I'm, I'm so ready and I just need to find the next city. So what are the recommendations for the next city? That's sort of, within driving distance of here. Um, I mean, options are like Cleveland or Akron, um, Louisville or Lexington, um, maybe, yeah, no more than three or four hours. Um, West Virginia-ish. Um, hell, how far is St. Louis? I have no idea. Let's see, how far is St. Louis from here? So if you guys got, have some recommendations for a weekend uh, shopping trip, um, oh, see, St. Louis is too hard, far. It's six hours from here. But um, Indy's, Indy is the crossroads of America. You're right. It's two weeks from everywhere. Yep, it's a geographic ge geographical oddity. Oh, um, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh might be an, op an option. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I'll have to come up with have to come up with like a good a good weekend deal and do it. Uh, but that that's the stuff that I bought. Um, I. I think I'll have to figure out like exactly how much everything is worth um, and figure out like what my gross profit will be. I have not done that yet, but I feel like I did. Okay. I mean, I really did. And it was just fun to get out and um, be somewhere else and have like a little girl's weekend in the middle of the week. Um, we did nine or 11, Faye. We hit 11 stores. Um, and, uh, you know, it was so much fun. I think you guys, um, yeah. So let me just tell you one of the little mishaps that we had. Oh, we had 12. We had 12. Uh, so, so it's late and we're trying to get something to eat. I'm trying to get something to eat. Chris is not hungry. And I'm uh, dealing with a lot of anxiety, okay? So I finally, we see a, a Jimmy John's. If you don't know what that is, it's a little sandwich store. And <laughs> Faye. And uh, we see it, and I'm like, well, is there a drive through? Because we'll just drive through. And uh, so we pull past the Jimmy John's in the parking lot, and we go around the corner, and there is a drive through. And we get in line, 
and we wait our turn and I'm looking at the sign going, I don't recognize any of these sandwiches being from Jimmy John's. Turns out when we get to the speaker, they say, welcome to Burger King. Can I take your order? And I'm like, how the hell did we get in Burger King parking like in their drive through So I panic because what else would I do? And I'm like, pull through, pull through, pull through. So I get Chris to pull out of the line because she's driving. And we turn around and we pull back around to the front of Jimmy John's and they're closed. Lights are off, trash is on the sidewalk. And I'm like, how did this happen so fast? So we just decided we're not meant to eat. Well, let's just go back to, uh, right. Uh, let's just go back to the hotel. So we made do, um, and it was fine, but I'm like, how did that even happen? Um, you know, we're in Indiana. We're not in a foreign country or something. Things shouldn't be weird, but anyway, there were just a few little, uh, Lucy and Ethel moments. Oh, right. <laughs> I walked out of Wendy's because they didn't have chips for my salad. Hmm. Couldn't have possibly been anything else that I could have ordered there, but I wanted the salad that has the chips. They didn't have the chips for the salad. It was, yeah, I was being very high maintenance that night, but everything turned out fine. It was fun. Yeah. All right. So that is my haul. I'm hoping that Chris, um, that Chris will do a haul video and maybe post it in the Facebook group, or I don't know, she could even post it on her channel. I know that's crazy talk, but she could, um, to, to show some of the, the stuff that she got, because she gets some really cool stuff too. Um, and I would have done her, like done a, um, a dual video, but sometimes the, the sound quality isn't very good or the, and the, um, the video quality isn't very good when I go live, um, with a partner. So, um, I'm hopeful that she will do something. There's no pressure, of course, but I'm hopefully hopeful that she'll make a video. Uh, cat getting ready to pounce on the other cat. And, and of course the clothes that I threw over there in the pile, they're laying on. Oh, of course. Good eye, Nanima. Good eye. Um, all right, so I'm going to wrap up and just stop rambling. I am hopeful tomorrow to have an afternoon and all afternoon list because I need it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So look for that. I'll be posting it in the Facebook group and on Instagram. And uh, you want to talk about the cup of pins? I will. <laughs> um, do you want me to talk about the cup of pins and how we were in a little uh, sandwich shop having lunch. And I don't know, it's just, we were having an awkward moment and we didn't know what we wanted to order. And, you know, we were hungry and it was raining and all of a the sudden there's this like solo cup full of like little buttons, little pin on buttons. Um, and Chris makes a gesture and just knocks the entire cup full of these tiny pins everywhere so now we're picking up pins and you know it's it was just yeah, yeah. it was something else. <laughs> it was funny but um anyway look for the live show uh tomorrow and we'll list and we'll hang out and we'll talk and all kinds of stuff and uh hopefully we'll, we'll get some work accomplished because i really need to do that and um it doesn't matter you can list on mercari you can list on etsy you can list on ebay but let's get some listing done so that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. Watch for that um, announcement of it being listed and, or um, it, uh, for what time? I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your continued support. Um, I am, I just want to say I'm really disheartened by the, by the shooting at YouTube headquarters yesterday. Um, that is just, that kind of activity is becoming far too commonplace in this country and we have got to get a handle on it. Um, but anyway, that I just wanted to bring that up because that is not what any YouTuber 
should like that reaction should not be anyone's reaction. But anyway, um, thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you all are my family and um, I love hanging out with you guys. So that being said, we are going to um, wrap this up. Thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate you guys. Goodbye.